I, I guess my final question is, because you mentioned uh, media and businesses, um, what advice would you give conscious businesses like Dream It Alive or conscious media? Like, What advice would you give us as we build our businesses to make the world better? What are your thoughts on the biz for any type of business that's trying to be positive while being profitable at Absolutely. the same time? Yeah, you have to have uh, your margin as well, you know, as well as your meaning. Yes. Why you're in existence. Meaning and margin are, are very important. The, uh, the, the new businesses that are emerging now, uh, first of all, let me say that the vibration of the earth is rising. It's higher than it's ever been. And so the businesses that will thrive are businesses that are asking a question, not just how am I going to make more money, but they're asking the question, how can I serve? And so if there's a service ethic there, real at, at, at the bottom, I really want to serve. Uh, it will be more sustainable than the business that's just the bottom line is profit. In other words, the businesses that are coming up now have to have a multiple bottom line. One bottom line has to be profit so you can, you're, you can stay in business. The other bottom line has to be, does it serve humanity? The other bottom line can be, does it inspire? Does it uplift? Does it heal? Does it transform? Does it educate? Those bottom lines have to be just as important as your profit bottom line because the, the vibration of the planet has risen and it's only going to support that which is in harmony with its next unfoldment. So businesses now can't just, you don't just go into business to make money. That's gauche. The business has to mean something. You know, it has to be sustainable. It can't be uh, hurting the planet. You know, you can't have a lot of pollution that's going to uh, uh, take away from life. It has to be life enhancing. So if the business is life enhancing, it's inspirational, it's uplifting, it's educational, and it makes money, that's a good deal because you have to have that, that uh, circulation of financial good. Money is just um, uh, energy exchange. Uh, I say that a promissory note is just a promise that energy will be exchanged. So if you give me a loaf of bread, I'm buying the energy that you use to make the bread. Now, I, now you take that money, which is a promise that when you give that money to someone else, they're creating energy that's maybe going to teach your kid in school or creating energy that's going to fix your car if it's a mechanic. It's just a promise of energy to exchange and circulate without becoming stagnant, you know. And uh, under a materialistic society, energy becomes stagnant. People want to hoard the energy. So you have billionaires who are just stagnating energy just to say that they're a billionaire. And then they die a billionaire when they could have actually served humanity by circulating. I know I'm probably going in much no. more than you wanted to talk I'd about. I'd love to hear this. But, um, but a real business, uh, 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 a business that's transcending the old paradigm has to be in service to humanity and have a multiple bottom line. Inspiration, upliftment, education, transformation, and the circulation of money to stay in business. All of that has to be equal.